Uh, good morning, I'm Glenn Haynes. I work as a HCA and complementary therapist at the hospice. Um, today we're in the garden club area, <laughs> which it was developed uh, originally by a, st um, a staff nurse, um, Chris, when we first opened. And then Debbie Head, the community worker, had a, a, went on a training course and she developed the garden club and developed this whole area. We fundraised for the polytunnel so that's been up for about six years, five or six years and it's it's created a fantastic area for our children especially you know when it's raining we can go inside but they've got the sensory feeling of the rain on the on the roof they can do all the um potting and sowing seeds and whatever but we we also take all the equipment into the hospice when it's really cold we do all sorts of little activities in the hospice if we can't get outside so we can just keep it on going all all through all through the year um so this is um we planted quite a lot of stuff this year even though we haven't had many children in they've all participated and we've done seeds sowing seeds so when we have the children back in hopefully not in you know not in too far future in future um, we can harvest what our, our few children have sown so we've got potatoes which we put in, the, um, you can see the coloured tyres, we've painted the tyres and you put the potatoes in there so they're contained and the children love to harvest the potatoes and count how many are coming through. Uh, we have leeks and we have all the little bedding plants that we've sown and grown on. We've got some little characters down here which we pot up and um, people have donated over the years. And then we've got strawberries, which one of our little girls had for breakfast the other morning, which was fantastic. She absolutely gorgeous. She's lovely. She loved them. So yeah, all these beds have been planted up. We've, and what I've tried to do, because the children don't know what the plants are, so I've tried to put little names and then, you know, just symbols that, like give a carrot so they know that those furry little plants in there are carrots. Obviously with the children um, we have a little competition going on with the sunflowers. They all sow their own sunflowers and uh, we come out periodically and measure them. So all the children that are in at the moment have got sunflowers but we've got all sorts of different things. We've got pumpkins in, squash, courgettes. Around here we have sweet peas, runner beans so hopefully by the time you know we have the children back in we have more things for for them to pick and obviously it's all sensory touch smell taste so we, you know it's a, a holistic so this is the polytunnel it looks a little bit empty at the moment um because obviously we've planted everything out you know all the seeds have grown so, but it's a fantastic um, space. It's a working space, so it's not tidy. It's never tidy. Um, but we've got everything that, you know, we could ask for. We have an electric in here, that's the only thing. But we have a watering system, which is um, solar pa a little solar panel up there. Um, we have little jobs to do for each month. Um, the, We've got some tomatoes, cucumber, and we've got some more um, pumpkins there to go out in the garden, which we had those donated, very kindly donated by a volunteer. Um, because obviously the children, many of our children are wheelchair bound, um, we have special tools, long handled, um, equipment so the children can you know sit in their wheelchairs and we are able to access the ground as we say it's it's, it's all a sensory holistic 
um, approach that we try and install on the children. It's enjoyment. It's something different. It's something that they can enjoy outside. So it's just goodbye from the Happy Potters and hopefully you will see you next year when the, everything is lockdown is finished. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.